Hey everyone, I have something really quite different for us all to enjoy in this video. We're moving away from good old Omnisphere and we're going to take a look at a few instruments created by none other than Venus Theory for Decent Sampler. This video will be focused on just four of the instruments available from, from Venus Theory. It's going to be Malevolence, Outstrings Free, Avost and Chimera. Or Chimera? I can never say that word properly. But anyway. Malevolence explores crossing the chaotic world of semi-modular analog synths with boutique effects to create a stunning sonic palette with a bit of a cinematic flair. The sounds were created from the PWM Malevolent, Creatorio East Beast and West Pest semi-modulars, all pushed through lush effects and some judicious extra processing. Out strings that combines the sound of pristinely recorded boat string articulations with imaginative analog and digital effects processing. Avost is a little boutique drum library that gives, well, for my sort of like thoughts, it gives some larger sample libraries a run for the money. And finally, we have Chimera. A library created using sounds from an Arturia Micro Freak, and that was pushed through a Zoom MS70 CDR FX pedal. Well, that's not all. Venus Theory then decided, you know what, I'm going to combine this with mutated orchestral instruments that were mangled through granular processing. All these instruments run in the free decent sampler. Malevolence is priced at just $10. Outstrings has a free version which we are looking at here. The full version is priced at $40. And Chimera is priced at $30. I have a link in the description below to Venus Theory's store page on Gumroad. And a bit of full disclosure here. If you use that link, it does give a small kickback to this channel. And your support is very much appreciated if you, if you use that link. Available for both Mac and PC. Let's have a listen to some of the sounds from these libraries.
So now we've heard some sounds from this library, what we're going to do, well, libraries, because we're looking at four individual ones, what we're going to do is just have a quick look at what the graphic user interface allows you to do to the sound. Now I'm going to start with the free edition of Outstrings because that's the one that we're actually looking at in the this particular video. There is a full version and you have the same uh, same controls, just more sounds. The free version just comes with, with these three sounds. You have the attack and release controls here. So at the moment we have... Now if I up that... We end up with a softer attack. And then release. This big knob in the middle, that's just alters the volume, which you can map to your controller. Just right click and click MIDI learn, move your mod wheel or whatever control you want to use. And you can then move the dial. So let's just do that MIDI learn. Moving model, there we are, and it's also automatically linked to your stereo spread. So, you can remove the MIDI automation just by doing that. Now, on my volume, will move now on this right hand knob here. That's your reverb and we have a few different types of reverb like Andromeda. So that's just the free version of Outstrings. We've now come to a, a, a very interesting drum library which is a Vost and um, this is represents like like Taiko drums as you can see from the uh, little that sort of graphic there in the top right corner. And let's just go for a single drum. So what you can do now is with these controls, very clearly labeled, you've got your ADSR section. So you can soften the hits and change your release times. Make it very dry. And we can put a filter on this. So this is a cutoff low pass filter. See what it, that dynamic does, it just changes how that cutoff reacts to the velocity you're smacking the keys. And then we can put some resonance to this. I want to increase the envelope, filter envelope. So you can get some really interesting drum sounds just by messing around with this filter. And then on top of that we have your delay. So we can put some delay on. That's all the time. And then finally we have some reverb. So let's put some wads of reverb on, let's put some Andromeda on again. There we go, instant track finish. You play your tune and at the end just go... That's it, end of track. So that's just what you get with a Vost. We now come on to Malevolence. Uh, this library we have a couple of controls we can sort of shape our sound. This left one here is just adds a bit of distortion and grit to the sound. So this is on a sort of one of the raw patches. And as I increase this, adds a bit of overdrive and crunch. Now I'm going to just 
keep that there because as we're going along, we're just going to design a sound quite quickly because we now have the ADSR envelope. So she attack decay and sustain release, and we want a middling attack so it comes on just gently. Now we're going to bring up the decay a little bit, chop the sustain a bit, and I want a nice release end. So we now have this. Ah, so beautiful, nice gritty pad, and I've only just touched some of the controls here. I haven't gone even to the filter yet. We've got a low pass filter, which I'm going to turn down a bit and pop up the resonance. And we now have this. Now what I'm going to do is up the reverb. It's a fixed reverb, but it still sounds lovely. And I'm going to change the panning so it makes the sound a bit wider. And now we have this quite epic sounding pad. And your mod wheel is already linked to the distortion section, so we can have a bit more fun. So that is malevolence. We now come to Chimera and this one is the drone pad library. Let's play it as a drone instead of trying to play it as a pad. So this patches are all made up of sort of like two layers and you can alter the volume there. So if I turn layer one off, and then subtly add layer one. Now we have the normal ADSR here. I won't want to bore you with the details because we've already done a couple of ADSR envelopes, but that alters this, just literally the sort of like volume attack of the sound. We've got a medium attack on there. Uh, this is your cutoff. So if I'm just gonna uh, play, hold the note and I'll lower the cutoff so you can hear what it does. Darkens the sound as we expect. We then have a, um, an effects section here. We have reverb, which we can alter the amount of reverb we've got, and the size of the reverb, and the tone of the reverb. So we'll just turn the tone up a bit, and because you always want wads of reverb on a on a drone. We've got some delay already on there, so I'm going to up the feedback a bit and up the time a bit. Now you can add some chorus to this as well, and it's just a simple slider, just click and drag, and you can then change the rate of the chorus and the amount you're going to add to the sound. And we now have this. Oh, that's kind of cool, that. Bit of dark uneasiness. So that's Camera. So now we've had a tour through some of the sounds and a look at the user interfaces on these four libraries. I'm going to play a little composition I put together just using the sounds from the libraries that we've heard. What you hear is literally the sound from these libraries, no external processing whatsoever or anything like that. I can I just bring up my little mixing desk so you can actually see there's absolutely nothing on there. I've done a little bit of panning, but that's it. So what you hear is literally the sounds from these libraries.
Okay, so a little ambient type score there for you. And this track um, is used all four of, of the sample libraries. And we will start, uh, let's start with the beginning. Always good to start at the beginning. We have this little sort of horn call type thing from the Chimera library, and it sounds like this. And interspersed with that, we'll have the malevolence and a little like a bell piano y type sound. So together we have this call response. Then we go into some lovely pads. And again, I've used the malevolence for this. So a real gritty, dirty sound there, but to add a little bit more life to that particular part, I use the free alt strings. Subtle movement in the sound there. Now to really fill out the bottom end, we put a little bass pattern together. And the, then we obviously, we've got the melody to come in and I've used two, uh, particular, two separate instances of Chimera. Uh, the first one sounds like this. And the second sounds like this. And together, Now these are, well, Khmer instruments build as a sort of like drone, and yes, they do make lovely drone sounds. Uh, so, you know, bottom end with a drone. Ah, it's gorgeous. But don't be afraid to experiment, and I've used it as like a subtle lead in an ambient track. So, you know, experiment with these libraries. We then have, and that's a lovely misspelling there, that should be a Vost. Not a vast, it's not an antivirus. We have the drum and we have this. That just gives a nice sort of like underpin to the whole track. We then have another instance of malevolence, can't even speak now, malevolence and this is a sequencer programmed in using uh, Stepic, which is a fantastic little sequencer library, but coupled with this li this, the sounds from this library, you end up with this. Now to add a little bit more to that sequence section, we took another instance of malevolence, but this time we stuck it through a box standard arpeggiator.
see how we get that lovely percolating rhythm uh, sort of like bouncing off each other there and all I did like I showed you there is just use the internal um, arpeggiator Apache SX from Cubase nothing outstanding there but together the two just meld beautifully and you end up with this I'll, I'll mute the kick drum So there we go, just a little ambient track using just the sounds from the four libraries that we're looking at from Venus Theory. Well, that was a really refreshing journey. And it's hard to believe the price on some of these libraries, and I mean that in a good way, because the price for me is very low for some real quality sounds. Malevolence has a gritty sound to it that I really do enjoy. There's something that I just cannot quite put my finger on that makes the sound just sort of like alive. Out strings free, well, the sound is just incredible for something that is free. And that may be all just what you need for just adding a bit more depth to your sound. But the full library just does sound sublime. And at $40, it gives a lot more expensive libraries a good run for the money. Chimera is something else. They are the most beautiful drones that I've heard in quite a while. It's not only good for drones, but slow lead lines as demonstrating the composition we just heard. Remember, though, always experiment with libraries when you get them. Basses can sound good as leads, and leads can make good bass sounds. You can even have pads that sound as good as leads as well, so never just stick to what the patch says it is if you so I get what I mean. You know, experiment, play with it, play it high up the keyboard, play alone on the keyboard, and have fun. You get more mileage out of sample libraries by doing that. All the instruments allow for, for some decent tweaking, so you can conjure up your own sounds quite easily. There's a link in the description below that will take you over to Venus Theory Store where you can purchase these libraries. All in all, these four instruments are just the tip of the Venus Theory iceberg and we will be exploring more of these libraries in future videos. If you don't want to miss them, subscribe to the channel by smashing that big subscribe button. And I hope you enjoy this video. Stay creative, stay sonic, and I'll catch you in the next one.